Are you familiar with cestodes? Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Parasitology series. In today's video, we are going to talk about cestodes. In upcoming videos, we'll talk about what different type of organisms, the microorganisms come under this category. But before getting into the video, I'd like to tell that these videos are meant for educational purposes. Things and treatments may change with time. If I get wrong or miss anything, your input is always welcomed in the comments section. Let's get started. Lecture outline. First, we'll talk about the classification of a parasite. In one of my videos, I've talked in detail about what is a parasite, their habitat, what types of host they have and their classification in detail. But in this video, I'm gonna review that classification. The link to that detailed video is in the description or in the top right corner of the video. Next one is classification of platy helminthes. The third one is the topic of this video that is introduction to the cestodes, the tapworms. Parasites are classified into two main categories. The first one is protozoa and the second one is helminths. Protozoa, for example, Entamoeba, Histolytica, and in helminths, we have uh, tapeworms or flatworms. Helminths are further classified as platy helminthes. Platy means flat, and helminth means worm. So the platy helminthes are also called as flatworms. Next ones are nematodes. These are called roundworms. In the figure, you can see the roundworms and the flat. Platy helminthes. The flatworms are further classified into cestodes, also called tapworms, and trematodes, also called flukes. In today's video, I'll give you an introduction to cestodes, the tapworms. In upcoming videos, we'll talk about tenia. This is a type of tapworm, which includes tenia solium and tenia saginata. The another type of tapworm is Diphylobothrium latum. We'll discuss this in upcoming videos. And the third one is Echinococcus granulosus. Trematodes, flukes. These include Schistosoma, Clonichis, and Paragonimus. We'll discuss them after the completion of the cestode series. Tapeworms consist of two main parts: a rounded head called a scolex and a flat body consisting of multiple segments. Each segment is called a proglottid. In the picture, you can see the scolex. Let me zoom in. This is the scolex. It has some hooks and some suckers. We are going to discuss them in detail a bit later. And these are the proglottids. The single segment is called a proglottid. This is a proglottid. Let's talk about scolex and proglottids. The scolex has specialized means of attaching to the intestinal wall, namely suckers, hooks, or sucking grooves. The worm grows by aiding new proglottids from its germinal center next to the scolex. The oldest proglottids at the distal end are cravid, and they produce many eggs, which are excreted in feces and transmitted to various intermediate hosts, such as cattle, pigs, and fish. Humans usually acquire this infection when undercooked meat or fish containing the larvae is ingested. However, in two important human diseases, cysticercosis and hydated disease, it is the eggs that are ingested and resulting larvae cause the disease. And that's it for the introduction of the cestodes. I hope you guys have learned something. You enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to connect with me on all of my socials. I've got my Instagram. I've got my Twitter. And I rarely upload blogs. And that's it. Till next time. Allah Hafiz.